Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is an incredibly short and easy one, but it came to me that a lot of people don't know what the keyframe mixer or the clip mixer is and rubber banding and all of that stuff. So this is the clip mixer rubber band keyframe tips. All right, so I wanna show you how we can control the audio volume um, with keyboard shortcuts by manually moving stuff and how it works in the effects control panel and the clip mixer. All right, so here we've got some audio and you can see our audio file down here. And this, this bar is the audio keyframe that's turned on by default. If you don't see that, it might be that this is off. So in the little wrench, turn on show audio keyframes. That's what this is right here. And when I move my mouse over it, you'll see my mouse changes to not just a move tool, but a move tool with a little up and down. And I get a little pop-up telling me how much I'm either increasing or decreasing that. Okay, so that's pretty simple stuff. If you use the, the uh, bracket keys, sometimes called the square bracket keys on a North American keyboard, when your playhead is above a clip as you tap, you're moving it 1 dB at a time, hold the shift key and you're moving it 5 dB at a time, okay? But I wanted to show you that there are two other things that are going on. And if we go to the effects controls and if you have an, an audio clip connected to a video clip, you'll see volume, channel volume, and panner show up. And if you open this up, and if I hit the same keyboard shortcuts, you can see that while I'm moving this, so this is now plus 4 dB, and you can see that value right here. And if I move that manually down here and let go, you'll see it doesn't update automatically as I'm dragging, but it, it updates when I let go. If I click and drag here, same thing. It's, it's not gonna update in the timeline until I let go of that. Pretty simple. You'll also notice that by default, over here, it's created a keyframe. This could be a very bad thing. So if you don't want these, these keyframes, make sure that these are not selected over here on the left-hand side, that they're, they're uh, white and not blue, so that when you're changing this value, it's not gonna add any keyframes. If you don't know this and you were noodling around and, and you were at a later position in your keyframe, then, then the value would be moving all the way up and down. There's one more uh, place that you'll see these changes and that's in the audio clip mixer, which is turned on by default. If you don't see it, then look for it in the window menu, audio clip mixer. And you'll notice that as I move this down here, you'll see that value change. And in fact, let me grab the effects control panel and snap it over here into the middle so we can see there's the value here. If I change this there, it's gonna change there and it changes inside there. Move this up here and it changes there and it changes there. Pretty cool. Now this is a stereo file and over here on the left, I'm moving one slider. If I wanna actually see both um, of these meters in here, if you right click and choose show channel volume, now you get both of these meters showing up and you can affect them differently. So very powerful. And of course, the last thing we can do is grab the pen tool and we can click and start changing and automating this. So now when this moves, you'll see the fader change over here on the left hand side and then it'll go back up, pretty easy. And when I go back to the move tool and move this clip, you'll see the automation moves with that clip. So if, if you knew this, you're probably saying, some people don't know this. No, they don't, it's not an obvious thing. But sometimes you want this immediate control of the audio on a clip. You don't wanna to have to, to you know leave this and go over to Audition, although Audition's great. You just wanna do some quick changes in here. Maybe there's a, something that gets louder or you just wanna make the rubber band go like this. Rubber band, way down, and it's like somebody just turned the volume down really quick. Very easy to do. Okay. So hopefully you found this informative. Hopefully if, if you didn't know this, this is now in your bag of tricks with working with clips and clip volume and the clip mixer and the effects control panel. 
If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe if you want to support us a little bit further, like all the wonderful people that are supporting us on Patreon, then join us over there for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking and sounding your best.